There's the red button. Ariel, we are live. Hey, everyone. Ariel, how are you? I'm great. How are you today? Excellent. Thank you. It's Wednesday, gang. James Gardner, the hero within here with Ariel Jarvis, Vitality Wellness World. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Conversations for Vitality, where we we just sit down and have a conversation. And we, uh, we discuss nutrition, uh, hydration, living a, a, a authentic life, body, mind, soul, mindset, you name it. This is what we, uh, what we're here to, because it's all about bringing us closer to living a more vital life. Yeah. And who doesn't want that? Right, Ariel? Absolutely. Yeah. Amen. We want quality and quantity, right? <laughs> exactly. Give me the years. Give me the quality in the years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. People want okay. to live pain free. Exactly. Yeah. Um, let's let's dive in today. We're going to go down a, um, a discussion around a condition that is is prevalent and and more prevalent uh, in the world with women than men, uh, and that is uh, MS, uh, multiple sclerosis. So, Ariel, I know uh, we're going to get into it, what it is, and, and and so forth. Why don't you take the lead on this? Mm -hmm. And then we'll uh, we'll see where this conversation takes us. Mm -hmm. So first of all, uh, MS stands for multiple sclerosis. So it's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, <laughs> it's a disease of the brain and spinal cord. And so what happens is it attacks the central nervous system. And what it is, is it's an autoimmune condition where your immune system attacks itself. Um, and it attacks the protective nerve fibers that... Uh, cover um, around your spinal cord. So that's going to attack the myelin sheath, causing communication problems. It causes all kinds of issues between the brain and the rest of the body. Um, we really need to be mindful about pH because what people don't realize is this disease, this autoimmune condition is caused by two things. Number one is the tissues surrounding the spine have been acidic for too long. And because the spine is a deposit of tons of alkaline minerals, mm. when the outside tissue becomes acidic for too long, then those minerals start to leach out. And then because the bone marrow is part of the immune system, the central nervous system, all the bells and whistles go off, sending a, an immune response. And if this is happening 24 seven and you're not doing something to deal with this, then you can be susceptible to an autoimmune where auto meaning it doesn't shut on and off. It automatically stays on. And then immune system means it's attacking itself. So every 25 days when your body's making new cells, they're getting programmed to attack itself. And this particular disease, it's attacking that protective layer around the fibers of the spine. So now the brain and the body can't communicate anymore. And so that sheath, that myelin sheath, it, does it disintegrate? Does it, does it, it, it and, and so it, it, whatever it does. It, uh, and then uh, is that something that can be restored? Uh, I, does, does the sheath, can the sheath, the sheath, try to say that 10 times fast, the sheath uh, restore and, and regrow itself? Absolutely. Because your body makes something called stem cells, which, ha which have no identity yet. And so stem cells, when they are put in an area, they mimic the environment. So if you were to take stem cells and stick them in the ear, they would become an ear cell. If you were to stick them in the nose, they would become a nose cell. So stem cells come from the bone marrow. So your body makes them. That's why when they do stem cell injections, they take a big nasty needle, they shove it in your spine, it's extremely painful, and they extract the stem cells, and then they put them wherever they need to go. And it's used, it's amazing for, for cancer treatments. So the thing with this, though, is your body has a storage. So what you need to do is if you're going through MS, you need to change your diet and you cannot have cheat days, not until you fully recover. So what you can do is you can put this into remission. So mm. things like coconut water, electrolytes, ionized water, PEMF treatments, pulse electromagnetic frequency treatments. These are very important. Flaxseed oil, hemp oil, avocado, coconut. You want to make sure that you're restoring your gut health. No sugar, no coffee, no alcohol, no smoking. And be very wow. intentional about the type of water you have. And if you do this, you will get a very fast recovery. 
you don't do this, your recovery goes slower, the decay, it's already there. Um, and so then some supplements you want to think about is folic acid. Um, I love avocados because they actually rebuild your myelin sheath. Um, magnesium, calcium, all your electrolytes, pink Himalayan salt, because those are conductors. It's going to help the electro, uh, electro negativity of the body speak to each other. Uh, sea moss has uh, 52 trace minerals, which is going to also help with conductivity. Um, probiotics, because it's going to help with the gut brain connection and kill off any bad pathogens that are affecting the nervous system because the gut microbes go, um, the, the toxins go up the vagus nerve into the spine, into the brain. And if they're bad, uh, bacteria, then they release bad mycotoxins, which can then create a bad toxic environment for the gut brain connection. And then just like the toothbrush we talked about, psyllium, take that every night. So psyllium mm. whole capsules. And if you have bowel issues and you're, you're noticing that you're not very regular, a healthy bowel movement is, I don't know if you can see this, elbow to middle finger, one long coil every single day. That's a healthy bowel movement. And if you're not having that, then either A, you're not eating enough. So maybe you're doing intermittent fasting or maybe you eat like a bird. That's fine. But if you're a healthy, active eater, you know, you want to make sure that you are also releasing properly. Otherwise, estrogen gets built up in the body and become more sensitive. And you'll also notice that that toxicity, where is it going to go? In your lower back. Well, what's in your lower back? Your adrenal system, which is connected to the central nervous system, which is going to affect your kidneys, which is going to affect your energy, which is going to affect your absorption rate of those important key nutrients to rebuild that myelin sheath and rebuild that spine. So yes, you want to put the good stuff in, take the bad stuff out, but then also transit time is very important. So... <clears throat> We're going to, we're going to dive into some of the clients that you've worked with specifically on NMS. But before we do that, what would be the standard protocol in Western med for someone that comes in, has been diagnosed with MS? What, what, what's the standard that they get usually? They never talk about rebuilding the myelin sheath. They talk about blocking the pain receptors. Huh. So what they do is they'll get you on a list of different types of medications. They'll do trial and error because some medications can cause heart failure and they'll see which one is best for you. So you don't die. And then they'll keep you on that until they have to continuously increase the dosage. But remember those medications are acidic and they break down the gut lining, creating leaky gut, which right. is going to create more problems with the spine. So is it really helping? Or is it just going to put a Band-Aid on the problem for a little while, blocking those receptors, and then eventually you have to keep increasing the dosage, and now the spine is breaking down, the myelin sheath is breaking down even faster. Mm -hmm. So okay, usually, so let, usually let, it results let, in a young death. Okay. So someone walks in to your clinic, and they're like, hey, <laughs> I have MS. Uh, all they're doing is giving me a bunch of pills to take and telling me to keep a smile. Uh, what, uh, t walk us through what, what would you do? What have you done? Cause you've worked with clients that, that come in in this exact situation. Yeah. So what we would do is we would do a full health assessment. So I would do a body scan. I would take a look at your hydration, your ionization, your central nervous system, your cortisol, your gut health, your bad pathogenic load, your diet your level of activity, your sleep, and some other uh, lifestyle things like alcohol consumption, uh, smoking, just different things like that. We would analyze it because everyone's a little different. Some people have good habits and some people have not so good habits. And then we would do a blood analysis because we want to make sure that your pH levels are proper and that the toxicity is low. And if you're already, if you're already diagnosed with MS, then you really have to take your protocol seriously. There's no time to mess around and you'll recover. We've had so many recoveries. I've had four people go into remission. Two are actually from my mom's art class. Um, so it was really cool because they're kind of like, I kind of know, knew them for a while. And they, I remember them being in my clinic and just tears rolling down their face with their diagnosis because they know what the end result is and they're not ready. They're in their 60s. They're still young and vibrant and, you know, and their grandmas and they're just getting started. And we got them to the point where their medical professional took them off the medications because they no longer needed it. 
they were now no longer having those hand tremors. They were no longer having those, um, you know, brain fog and all the other things that are correlated with the organ systems and the pain, the constant pain and the lack of sleep. When we were able to treat them on the root cause, which was the gut rebuilding the, um, the spinal myelin sheath, supporting the brain health, supporting ionization and the central nervous system, those five through our protocol, it didn't take long. They, they saw a huge mm. transformation in 90 days. And between the, the four of them, it was under a year to recover. And that's wow. really incredible. That's incredible. You've, you've talked about the word remission. And I know that with MS, uh, it is somewhat common for people to go into this kind of uh, state of remission. Uh, and, it, and it's kind of um, almost like a roll of the dice. When will it resurface? Uh, and, and so is it correct? What you're saying, first and foremost, is it's a non-negotiable. Like if you're going to, if you're going to try to restore your, uh, your optimal way of living with this condition. It's a 24 seven thing. There are no cheat days. Uh, it's, it's all in on this. And when we talk about, so, so the sheath restores itself. So proper nutrition, uh, so forth, proper pH, all of that tapestry of brilliance. We're doing that correctly. Our sheaths somewhat restore and, 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 and do their work. The body does its beautiful work that it does. The remissions, is there, is there a trigger that causes remissions? Is it as simple as someone falling off the wagon because they're like, they feel great. And then they just kind of, the 24 seven starts to become, eh, well, you know, like what, there's something what? that happens to the voltage of each cell. So every yeah. cell has its own electrical voltage. So what happens is when you start to fall off the wagon and now let's say you go on a bender, well, now that creates stress. Now that changes the voltage, that changes the pH. And if you do that long enough, eventually those cells adapt to the new pH. And because that was a weakness before, the body remembers the weaknesses, mm. just like muscle memory. So if you're prone to being um, a person who's overweight and then you lose a bunch of weight, you have to be very careful because yeah. you, you fall off the wagon and all of a sudden now you're down that spiral and now you're obese again. So it's just like that kind of concept. Your cells remember. So that's why it's, it's never something that happened to you, but for you so that right. you can learn and grow and stop having that victim mentality. You're a victor. You're a warrior. You're a gladiator. When people mm -hmm. come in and they tell me they have a diagnosis, I'm like, great. That means we know exactly what we're dealing with. And I can give you a customized protocol so that you can be on your way having a better quality of life. You should be walking yeah. out of here with a smile because we know right. what we have. Our beautiful medical practitioners are great at analyzing and diagnosing exactly what you have. Now, maybe not the best protocols, but that's what you have us for. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and and anything comes comes down to making a lifestyle lifestyle change uh, whether it's uh, dealing with MS whether it's getting fit whether it's going to run a marathon whether it's uh, you know working on a confidence issue working uh, on a speaking engagement whatever it is right it takes an all-in lifestyle change uh, and and really that's that's the fundamental cornerstone of, of any type of, of growth, whether it's health growth yep. and wellness growth or personal growth. Yeah. Uh, I always like to use the, uh, the analogy of like people, people really uh, understand school. Okay. So let's talk about numbers for a second. If you're going to go into a test, you're an exam. And let's say this exam is very, very important. It's a, it's a make or break. If you didn't study and you walk in and you get 50%. And you're looking at someone else who did the work and they got a hundred percent whose fault is it right right so we want we all want a pluses but we're only going to put in a c minus effort that's right we need to and, do that with our health and it's brilliant I, you know on, on a podcast that i was on yesterday i i rose the flag on this i'm like you got to do the work it's just it, it, that's what it comes down to and and with with vitality wellness same thing 
right? Errol, you, you, you can put them through the test. You can give them the blueprint and the steps to, to increase their, their vitality and, and lust for life. And yet they're the ones that have to make the decision of to put that down, eat this, follow this, be, be a hundred percent all in on this, on this goal. Got to do the work. Got to do the work. Got to do the work gang. And when you do the work, there's always a reward for the work. Absolutely. And that's why having someone who is keeping you accountable, it's really helpful um, because then you stay on the path. If you're just doing it by yourself, people drift really easily and then they forget the goal. And you are the top five people you surround yourself with. If you're trying to get fit and healthy or you're trying to follow your protocol and all that sort of stuff, it's really good to maybe sit down and have a little nutritional intervention with the family. And that's where I can come in. Right. And what we've noticed is those four individuals, they didn't just come in and you boom, they were done. They came in with their husbands and their kids. And we had a a nutritional intervention. And I said, okay, grandma's going to do this. So we need to support her. And that's what happened. And you know what else happened? They all came in, they all did the treatments and they found that there were other things that they could have find, they could fine tune with their own health. And they came in with the biggest smile after because they felt that much better and their frequency just went up. Their intelligence went up, their Mm -hmm. ability to multitask went up, their rest and digest got better, their uh, ability to stabilize mood got better, Uh, just the decisions that they were making. It was just, they noticed the level of friendships, um, you know, wanting to strive for more. It was just incredible things that had happened. So. You never know what, where, when you have your health and you actually have it, and you have it optimal. It's yeah. amazing what happens with all the other avenues of your life. Oh, it's, it, it comes back to energy. We talk, you just, you know, we talk about voltage and energy at the cellular level and that's just magnified. It's magnified in, in the way we show up in our mindset and how we approach the day, our perception of, of anything that's, that's coming our way each and every day. Like attracts like. And uh, it's a beautiful thing when, when we see that uh, positive infection of, of energy and, and health and wellness uh, at the clinic. Yeah. And, uh, and then it, it just it, it ripples a ripple effect out. Yeah. You know? And yeah. Uh, that's, that's the beauty of uh, what we're doing as, you know, it's restoring uh, vitality to humanity one cell at a time. Yeah. And, and truly that's just a, it's just a microcosm of, of our overall footprint here. So, yeah. Awesome we, know, sauce. We, we know that not everybody, you know, can go all in right away because a lot of people do have unhealthy habits and a lot of limiting beliefs and a lot of struggles emotionally that keep putting you back into that self-sabotage. We totally get it. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of environmental stressors as well. So what, that's mm-hmm. where having a little bit of a coach also helps an accountability partner and mm-hmm. then also setting goals that are realistic for you. So obviously my job as a practitioner and someone that's leading the individual is I want to give you exactly what the blueprint is, but that doesn't mean that that's where we're going to start. Mm. Right. So that means that we start eventually we walk before we can crawl. Yeah. And I mean, we crawl before we can walk. Sorry. (laughs) And then (laughs) hang on a second, hang on a second. (laughs) Sorry about that. And then you can start to run. Right. So I don't want you to feel like, oh, my goodness, I won't be ready to see Ariel because X, Y and Z. Don't worry. Just come as you are and be honest and true and just just follow the process. Just go step by step. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If one day you drink a little more water, that's awesome. Pat yourself on the back. One day, you know, maybe you were in the pantry a little too long. Well, it is what it is. Right. So just those baby steps. But just be honest with me so that I can help you. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, as coaches, we need to meet you where you are. And, and, uh, this is not about standing at the top, at the summit of Everest and, and shouting down to you to hurry up and, and come, uh, even though the path is laid out, it's, it's meeting you down there and, and at base camp and, and working and going up with you. And, and that's, that's what coaches do. That's what practitioners do. Uh, and it starts with the very first step, yeah. very first step. So yeah. final words, Ariel. No, that was amazing. Thank you so yeah. much. Awesome. 
Okay, gang, uh, thank you so much. And remember, uh, for any more information on, on what we do, please go to vitalitywellnesswcom vitalitywellnesswcom uh, There's information there. There's more information on all the various testing that uh, Ariel does. Our respiratory clinic, which is another part of our business, which we're going to, which we'll talk about in one of these uh, conversations coming up soon for sure. Respiratory and, and energetic therapy. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Superhuman uh, next time. Superhuman, superhuman. Ariel and I are going to show up with our uh, cape on and mask <laughs> and utility belt of kick assery. All right. Yeah. Mad love to the courageous. Ariel, you rock. Thank you for your time as always. Thank and you. Grateful we'll, to be here. We'll see everyone next Wednesday. Cheers. Bye.